Hey everyone, I'm Jonas and I'm here today because Radio Master's Nexus flight control system is going into the next round. This is the Nexus X and this is the Nexus XR. And today we're gonna look at what these are, what's inside, how these compare to the original Nexus, why you want to buy these, if you buy them, what you get in the box, and why I'm gonna fly these in the future in my helicopters. So let's go. Now if you're new to all of this, let's quickly recap what a Nexus is. Namely, this little guy right here. This is the original Nexus, which was released last year. This little guy opened the floodgates for the general public to try out rotor flight. Rotor flight being one of the most advanced and most open flight control firmwares out there and has one of the best flight performances you can imagine. Now since the introduction of the original Nexus, thousands and thousands of people have bought these, tried these out, gotten familiar with rotor flight and taken their flying to the next level. And with great success, I've been flying 14 of these units on my helicopters at one point and it's gone great. Now as with anything, there's always customer feedback and room for improvement. And that is what Radio Master has done with the X and the XR. So let's see how they compare. Now the Nexus X and XR will still be using the same processor and IMU as the original Nexus. Which is great, because the STM32F722 is the reference processor for rotor flight at this time and is very very future proof, so you will be able to flash new firmwares to this for a long time. The ICM42688P is an excellent gyroscope with great vibration resistance, great flight performance, which has the advantage that the Nexus X and XR and the old Nexus fly exactly the same. Now that might pose the question, why do they fly exactly the same? Why didn't they improve on it? And the answer is simple. There currently is no improving on the ICM42688P. A lot of different gyroscopes were tried. None could really match the performance of the ICM42688P. So we landed back on this one to give you the best flight performance that is currently available. This means you can pull a diff from your Nexus, drop it into the XR and go fly. No need to retune anything. Now the original Nexus had three UART ports on the top. The Nexus X and XR still have these UART ports, but they are now located on the side. Port A is on the right side, port B and C are on the left side which is great because this makes the unit much cleaner to install because all the wires are now coming out the side or the front and you basically don't have to run any wires up vertically which has always been a bit difficult on the original Nexus so I'm very glad to see this change. Now the connectors for these UARTs are also the same JSTGH so any peripherals you have plugged into your Nexus you can directly plug into the X or XR now some other notable features, the Nexus and Nexus XR are still capable of running 12 volt servos and the USB port has power delivery trigger resistors so you can power these directly from an Android smartphone or a laptop that only has USB-C ports, which some other units might not do. Now let's talk about what improved on these things, because why would they bring out a new hardware without making improvements? And let me tell you, there is a lot. My favorite feature by far is the upgraded black box storage. You have now 256 megabytes instead of 128 megabytes for your black box logs, which means you can log twice as much. And since I'm a helicopter developer, I appreciate this so much because this gives me a lot more data to work with. I can fly for longer without having to pull logs in between. I can try more things. I can gather more data. It's amazing. Now there has also been upgrades to the safety of these devices. The 5 volt rail, 3.3 volt rail and 1.8 volt rail, which are for example responsible for driving the MCU and the IMU, have all been upgraded to better, more robust power supplies, which means that these devices can take more abuse, can take more voltage ripple without failing. Now the Nexus X and XR have received an external voltage port with which you can send external voltages without having to use ESC telemetry, for example. And this port now goes from 3.6 volts to 70 volts, which is 1 to 16S. So perfect, even if you have a 700 helicopter that for some reason cannot do ESC telemetry, you can still fly it with the Nexus X and XR and get voltage telemetry. And one of the most requested features, which was also among my requests, more ports on the main 
pin header. We now have, in addition to the servo ports, the ESC, the RPM port and the SBUS port, also an AUX and a telemetry port, which means no more running the telemetry into one of the UART ports or the DSM port. No more need to remap the SBUS port to do like a backup switch. You can just do this via the AUX port and the telemetry port natively now, and it is so clean and makes the configuration so much easier. I love this. I absolutely love this change. Hey, this is Editing Jonas. Uh, I forgot to mention new feature. The Nexus X and XR now come in four new colors directly from the factory. So you can get the red, gold, blue and purple Nexus X and XR directly from the factory without having to convert them yourself, which is really neat. Okay, on with the video. Now let's specifically talk about the Nexus XR again, because this now has an integrated Express LRS receiver, which means that you can directly connect this unit to your TX16S, your Zorro, your Pocket, whatever Express LRS transmitter you have, natively. And this is not just any receiver, because this is based on the RP4TD, a true diversity receiver, which means each of these antennas goes to its own chipset, which means even if one of these 2.4 GHz transceivers fails, the other one will still be delivering data and you can still continue flying safely, which means that this unit is probably the safest rotor flight unit you can buy today. And now you might ask, what's in the box? And that is exactly why I have two new originally packaged Nexus X and XR here, which we're gonna open together and take a look what's inside. Start with the XR. Slide it out. And there's the XR. Beautifully presented, simple, but effective. Let's also open the X. Slide it out. And you can see it's the same beautiful presentation. And let's take a look what else we have in here. And I'm just gonna unpack these for you now. Well, that was easy. The Nexus X and XR come with a bunch of peripherals, cables, adapters, whatever you might need to get this installed in your helicopter. Let's take a look real quick. We have three sticky pads, which are perfectly shaped to fit on the bottom of the Nexus X and XR. We have three open-ended four pin JSTGH cables, which fit the UART ports on the side, which you can connect your peripherals to, for example, your receiver. You have a 3-pin GH to DuPont servo connector. For example, if you have a receiver that already has a servo connector on it, you could directly plug it into a UART. You get a USB-C extension for these helicopters where it's just a bit difficult to reach the place where the flabberless is installed. You get the external voltage sensing cable, as I said, for sensing up to 70 volts. You get a USB-A to C cable, a little piece of heat shrink. I actually don't know what that's for. And this one, this is an important cable for anyone who's been flying a flood control unit that's been using the JST-ZH connector for telemetry. So if you've been using the DSM port on the old Nexus for telemetry, that port is now gone on the new units, because let's be honest, nobody uses DSM anymore. And if you are still using DSM, 2010 called, dinner is ready. So this is effectively a converter for this connector. If you plug this into the telemetry port and then just plug your JST-ZH connector in here, you will still get full telemetry, just like you did before without having to recrimp or resolder anything. Now that's it for the package contents on the Nexus X and Nexus XR. Let's take a look at installation examples of these two units in my helicopters. Now with the M4 Max, the Nexus XR sits beautifully on the rear flabberless platform with all wires going out to the front. There is nothing plugged into the sides of the unit because there just aren't any other peripherals on this helicopter. The antennas go out the back and I like to loop them under the flabberless platform just to shorten them a little bit. Then I do this kind of V-tail thing with heat shrink so that they neatly are arranged on the boom and get good reception. Now the telemetry wire plugs into the new telemetry port, the RPM wire plugs into the RPM port, and since there is no backup, the other ports are free. On this helicopter I secured my wiring with a bit of red tape, 
You can see this is a very, very clean install and looks really good on this helicopter. And I really love how tidy this is. Next up, we're going to look at the Nexus X in my OMP Hobby M5. The Nexus X in the OMP Hobby M5 sits cleanly on the damp fiberless platform in the back. All wires are still going out the front with the wire for the RP3H going into the A port on the right side of the unit. The RP3H in this case is mounted right below the fiberless platform because the Nexus X does not need the mass damper with the antennas going out into a V configuration on the tail. All wires are plugged into the main servo header with the telemetry going into the new telemetry port. I'm not running a backup capacitor on this model, but if I did, it would go into the aux port. You can see how super clean and tidy this is, and it also looks great in this helicopter. Now Radio Master has given us two very cool units with the Nexus X and the Nexus XR. The upgraded capabilities are amazing, not only for me as a helicopter developer, but also if you're, for example, a Nitro guy and need the additional ports, or if you're someone who loves to dig into black box logs and can now do twice as many. If you have space constraints for your receiver, choose the Nexus XR. If you want to keep your receiver or fly something that is not Express LRS, choose the Nexus X. Now, if you want to support me directly, Links to these units are below, these will be affiliate links. If you click them and purchase through them, I will get a small commission on your purchase, which would be very greatly appreciated. And with that, I hope that you enjoy your new Nexus X and XR as much as I do. Having been a part of the development of these units has been truly so much fun, because I learned a lot of new stuff, and seeing how my and your feedback has been incorporated into these units to make the experience better is always so cool to see. So grab yourself some new flight controllers, enjoy all the benefits these bring, happy flying, thank you for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye bye.